ClickBank, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as your traffic sources to ClickBank offers and make a full-time income, okay? And if that sounds interesting to you, then listen to every second of this video because I am seriously going to drop some nuggets for you, okay? So let's build out the funnel, the whole strategy real quick for you so you understand it. Um, basically, what we're doing, we're leveraging Facebook ads, okay? Um, we're leveraging Instagram, organic free, plus you can boost the good content. Then we're doing YouTube, we're gonna run retargeting ads, we're gonna boost content that does well, and we're going to post a bunch of content on the testing ground, which testing ground basically means to me, which I came up with the term I believe, basically where you're testing what content performs the best, and you boost it if it does well, okay? and you build massive authority in your niche, okay? This takes a lot of work, don't get me wrong, but you need to pick a niche that's outside of my niche because um, there's not much volume here, okay? I just do this to give back, okay? And to build my personal brand, network with you guys, and make a little side income, and that's all. But if you guys wanna make a full-time living, okay, from, from these traffic sources and ClickBank, then listen closely, okay? Anyways, we're going to build a business with email marketing, a funnel, and a ClickBank offer, or a couple ClickBank offers in your niche. And that's it, okay? Um, you could also have your own offers, okay? If you're willing to make your own offers, that's fine. There's plenty of tools to do so, and ClickFunnels would be by far the best. Then you need Stripe, which is easy to collect payments, but you can use Gumroad if you choose and create info products very easily and bring value to your audience like I do very easily okay um, let's see here so you're you've got an opt-in and you're giving something for free in exchange for their email address very very simple and I suggest you make it as value-packed as possible then you send them to a thank you page you excite them and all these things you story sell them um, share your experience with the offer and then you link to the main offer okay? and this is your business 100% this is all you do 24-7 Okay, you send them to your free thing, okay, through all your content, you send them to your free thing, and they get your free thing, and then they go through an autoresponder sequence to a bunch of other affiliate offers, okay? Oops. <laughs> and basically, in every single email, you're linking to a different offer, and you're giving value in each email, and you want to have as many as possible because that's more opportunity to get open rates, right? And whenever it comes to time where there's a new offer, you can email blast, okay, to that new offer, okay? Just very easily, I highly recommend Aweber. You could use ClickFunnels Autoresponder if you choose, okay? But you're probably a beginner if you start this out. And plus, you won't be making crazy, crazy money if you're not doing the crazy strategies I teach. They're super, super advanced. And not so crazy advanced where they're confusing, but crazy advanced where, where they're gonna make you way more money. Like, you become a multimillionaire doing these strategies. I'm on track to becoming a multimillionaire, okay, with the strategies I teach, all right? It's all about picking the correct niche, the correct vertical, and doing the right traffic sources, okay? Um, it all comes down to the volume of traffic, really. But anyways, here's what you do. You pick your niche, and you're gonna create a bunch of content for YouTube. You're gonna repurpose that content and cut it up for Instagram and Facebook. And you're just gonna post there, too, so you can be more omnipresent. Omnipresent means on more platforms, basically. It's kind of like where you're just all over the place, okay? And then, you're basically putting all this content out there for your one selected niche. Don't do a bunch of niches, otherwise you're gonna be too out there. Okay, it's very important that you listen to this. Um, but anyways, you're just gonna repurpose all that content you make for YouTube, okay? And you're gonna post it on Instagram, Facebook, okay? Your selected pages that you choose to do. When something goes very well, like a piece of content that you see is doing really well, Go to the ad platform. So Facebook and Instagram have their own ad platform and boost that content. I personally am not so serious about this whole thing in my business, but I'm telling you this works, okay? Um, I don't use Instagram and Facebook that much, but I use YouTube a lot, okay? And when I have something that does well, I put some money in it to boost it, just for fun, um, because it's good to get it, get it out there. If it does well, if it performs well, it's good to boost it, okay? Because it's your best foot out there. Um, also, if you connect your Google Ads account to your YouTube account, you can set up an audience, if you know what I mean, and you can run retargeting ads, okay, to your audience and promote something you sell. Very, very powerful, okay? It's basically hot traffic people that already know you, hopefully like and trust you, 
okay? So they already are aware of you. That's way more powerful than doing cold marketing where they don't know you at all. All right, but anyways, retargeting is, is extremely powerful with YouTube. Now, you make a bunch of content. I highly suggest when you make one piece of content even for YouTube, you should be repurposing that one video, if you make a long video, into multiple videos, bro. You're going to get way out there, um, especially if you're in a niche that's not like low volume niche like the one I'm in. You could be in a niche like freaking basketball or, or Fortnite. Actually, I highly suggest health, wealth, or love, and then sub niches under that. I do not really recommend other niches other than that. There's so much money to be made in health, wealth, and love niches. It's just my niche in, in the wealth sector, which is CPA marketing and affiliate marketing and stuff, and marketing, it's very little. Although it, it should be considered big if I'm doing more of the marketing side of things and tips on that, but anyways, it's not really about me. I'm just trying to say, Health is way big um, and love is way big. Wealth is big if you do like the correct type of niche inside of that. Real estate's big inside of their sales and marketing if you just do those big generic ones. But sub, sub niches is very good too and I do that, okay? Um, anyways, you send them to an opt-in or multiple different opt-ins, okay, to keep more interest, but you just are entering people into your massive funnel where you can literally, because the money is in the list, okay? Especially if you're building a list in a niche. So you've got easy reachability over time. You've got lots of followers over here and then you have an email list over here. Um, everyone who goes through your automated sequence, it could be very long or very short. Mine's personally hundreds of emails in my health niche that I'm in. I just have an email autoresponder sequence in place for that. And I earn an average of 20 to 30 bucks for everyone who goes through that. Okay, very, very important to understand the power of that. Um, then you have email, email blasts and you can like promote whenever you want, okay? Um, also, it's kind of a recurring thing. When you get people into an opt-in, you should be earning like a dollar for every email that goes in to your list, okay? Per month, you should be earning a dollar per person. And that happens when you are doing this a lot, right here, email blasting. All right, anyways, would they go in your funnel, they get the thing in the, in the email, okay, that you send them automatically. Easy to set up, by the way. Don't overthink any of this. So you, they opt in and they get the free thing they opted in for, and then they get sent to a thank you page on the website they're already on, boom, and they get pitched at the same time, boom, to the affiliate offer, okay? And a certain percentage will always convert, all right? And raw, law of reciprocity is if you serve someone well right here, they're more likely to give back right here, okay? It's just literally psychology, okay? But anyways, um, let's now talk about each traffic source. So that's the whole strategy. You can make a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money here, okay? Let's go check out some niches real quick on ClickBank. Let's say you choose the health niche like I was talking about. So health and fitness. Okay, so we just found the Cinderella solution. It's a new product on ClickBank. There's Fat Belly Fix too. Um, where's another one? Organify. you have to get, except for that one though. There's a very, very select few people that promote Organ Organify. okay. I wanna see their, how much of volume they get. Similar Web's a great, great tool for um, basically funnel hacking, if you know what that is. Um, 300,000 visitors per month, huh? They need more traffic. Why are they not like accepting more affiliates? It's so confusing to me. I don't understand. They're making good money though, I can tell you that. Um, let's see, Lean Belly Breakthrough. So I promote all the help, a lot of these health ones, by the way. Let's go to the top one right now, okay? $33 on average for everyone who, who does this one, okay? Here's what it looks like if you're wondering real quick. It's just literally a VSL, so video sales, sales letter. Um, I bet a lot of people with email lists are just, yep, email lists. I'm sure some of my traffic's in there too. And yeah, so 33 bucks, boom, you send them and that's right here. So you're in 33 bucks for everyone who does this. Let's go to a calculator real quick. Calculator. All right, so you send, let's say, let's say, let's say you collect 50 email leads per day. Um, that times 30 days, okay, per month, you're gonna be earning 1,500 per month, okay? That's your first month, we'll say, from like grinding real hard. Then your next month, you increase that by quite quite a bit more. But let's just say, after 12 months of doing this and it's the same amount every day, you're gonna be at the point where you have an email list of 18,000 people, and you should be earning $18,000 per month on average, okay? Um, if you email blast new offers all the time, all right? Now let's talk about if you're getting 50 people per day into your free thing, a certain percentage will buy your your um, thing in your funnel. So that's times by 30, just do it for the whole year here. 
let's just say 1% decide to buy your affiliate offer you promote, okay? And then there's other affiliate offers in your email. Email autoresponder sequence, and we're gonna add that math in too, okay? So 33 bucks, boom, you make 5,940 bucks, okay? Now the thing is, you're not really gonna get a 1% conversion rate, okay? But that's just with free traffic, you're sending, you're boosting content and all that stuff. All right, now let's go back. Boom, 18,000 people over the whole year go into your funnel and opt in and everything. And then all of them get into your autoresponder and you earn 20 bucks on average per person into your funnel, okay? And so that is going to be, boom, 20 bucks. That's where you make the most money, right? Is your email autoresponder sequence. Basically the thing is, and, and the reason why this is so high, is because a very, very small percentage will buy in the moment that you promote to them. But like 95% of people, but in this case we'll say 99% because 1% buy in this scenario right off the bat, we'll just say 99% buy later, but it's really 95% of people buy later down the road, okay? And most people don't market to those people. But that's the power of the autoresponder. It follows up with them automatically forever, okay, as long as you set it up for that and you can promote your offers forever, okay? Different offers or the same offer, just one offer. Like you can make a whole business around this, guys, and this is what I really want to stress. It's extremely, extremely powerful what I'm telling you right now. And I can, I can, I'm gonna tell you real quick what I do. Okay, so I basically do, for my niche, I just run Facebook ads and Instagram ads. And the reason I do that is because I can spend the most to acquire conversions. I talk a lot about this in my course and stuff. Like. I can get instant results, but, and I'm not doing free traffic or anything, I'm not building some crazy brand. I'm just promoting a ton of offers in the dating, in the sweepstake, in the health niches, okay? And that's it. I have just a ton of offers I promote, not just one offer. And if you guys want to learn more from me, you can ascend my value ladder, which basically means I provide more value to you guys, okay? So, um, if you pay me, basically, like, locked content is unlocked through payment, okay? That's it. And you guys can learn way more value from me, invest in your brain, literally change your life, I hope. Okay, and if you don't, then we're gonna have a talk one on one and I'm gonna help you. Okay, but um, it's extremely powerful and that's what I do. I run paid ads, I don't do free traffic, but this is what you can do if you're a beginner. Um, it's not the most recommended thing, but as you saw with the calculator here, let's add in the 5,000 from just the people who buy instantly, and then we'll add in the recurring after one whole year of collecting emails, boom. So you ever hear, no, let's just look at this number right up here, these two numbers. So throughout the whole year, just from that one offer, you make 365, that's basically $1,000 per day. $365,000 in a year, that's definitely enough for you guys. And then you make 18,000 per month after the end of the first year that you do this. And then it keeps adding up, keeps adding up the more you build your list, okay? There's very advanced methods where you can build your email list way, way quicker, like I'm talking paid ads. If you have this much money, you can probably invest in paid ads, right? So you can accelerate your growth, all right? And that's what I want you to know about. This is extremely powerful to collect emails. I want to drill this in your brain real quick. You're earning recurring money as long as you're doing this, okay? It's not so often that you're gonna find new offers, but you're gonna earn recurring because law of averages you just divide by. Okay, here's how much I made, divide by how many conversions I got or how many emails I have, and that's how much I earn per month, okay? And that's literally it. Now we're gonna dive into YouTube real quick. So you're in the health niche, and here's how I suggest you find freaking keywords and freaking topics to talk about and make content about. Make your own content, guys, I'm telling you right now, do not make freaking, because you wanna brand this thing for forever. So make your own content, give value, something you're knowledgeable about in one of the sub niches of a big niche like health, wealth, or love and happiness. Um, not really happiness, but health, wealth, and love and niches. But right right here I'm using vidIQ, okay? And then I have another Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. But look, all these keywords get crazy, crazy volume, okay? Um, let's sort by view count. Let's see what was the best performing content out there. And don't do kids content, okay? Um, it looks here. A lot of them are a little weird, but um, basically what, what the thing I'm trying to teach you here is basically look for good performing content and you know it works and so remake it, okay? There's crazy, crazy psychology advanced stuff I could go in on here, 
but I'm just going to tell you, just copy what works, and eventually you're going to figure it out, and you're going to make some big bucks, right? There's a lot of uh, graphic things here. Okay, so <laughs> let's go to this month. These are the best performing things this month. And with vidIQ, you can see how many subscribers they have. So this one's a very, very good one because they have 350,000 subscribers. Then they got 2 million views on this video. That means it's trending, whether it be the, because of the title or because the content itself or because of virality. A lot of times, if you copy content, like remake somewhat the same, you're going to not get the same result, but it's going to help you get, get better results, okay? Let's type in here weight loss. Real quick. <laughs> Dr. Oz is a big, big brand in the whole space, it looks like here. I'm seeing his name a lot. Um, if we go here to view count. Alright, view count. This is the most viewed vi Whoa, 10 million. It's just a massage for weight loss. How weird is that? Um, this guy right here looks like a story. Stories are great for YouTube videos. If you just make a story about something every single video and I have a course coming out on story on um, like how to tell stories like stories are the most powerful things in psychology for getting sales guys um, by far that's like a pro pro tip but anyways as you can see a lot of these are just motivational stories um, and results people have gotten okay and if you do that in like every one of your videos you have a high high chance for this niche and I just wanted to show you that real quick now let's go to Facebook ads. Okay, use Facebook ads. I don't want to really dive into it too much with you guys. Basically, if you're doing like, you just say of your objective, okay? Say of your objective, if you're selling your own product, you can run conversion ads, which is by far the most powerful method with Facebook ads. Then you go broad and they literally pull you out customers, plug and play. Like, like no joke, so, so easy, okay? To get sales, but you obviously have to use the market psychology that's very important. Then you're going to lower your cost per conversion. But if you can spend the most to acquire conversions, bro, then you're set. But um, yeah, so Facebook ads, very, very powerful. I, I can't go into mine. You're going to see all my freaking things, and I'd have to edit this video and blur it out, and I'm pretty lazy about that. But yeah, so I'm just trying to talk to you about each thing. Next is also weight loss. Um, it's very, very tricky how I do it. I want you to understand that with Facebook ads very tricky how I how I get away with it so I just want you to know that um, but you're doing free traffic so you don't have to worry about Facebook fan or anything because you can post whatever you want basically um, on Facebook or Instagram or, or, or YouTube because you're doing free content you're not really like promoting to massive amounts of people which can put them at risk their ad platform with, with people so just so you know next is Instagram oh look she's very pretty um, so I'm just gonna scroll down and just talk about Instagram. So here we have Instagram and basically you make your content and if you're consistent and if you do the right type of SEO for your stuff, so I'm talking like tags and then ultimately it comes down to like engagement rate, engagement rate and other factors like people actually like sub to you that can create authority, you're gonna grow faster, shout out for shout out type stuff you can do um, and all these things, okay? And yeah. Instagram is one of the best, the best, okay? I want you guys to know that. It's extremely powerful. Oh, look, Grant Cardone. Um, and yeah, so just so you guys know. So basically, if you're creating content for each one of these social media platforms, um, and you do it consistently, repurpose content, make long, long videos. And like, I'm talking, if you make like two hour long video, you can, you can like piece it up into like 20 pieces of content. And then way, way more for these ones because these like shorter, shorter content. Um, videos do great for all of these platforms, okay? And basically, boom, you're going to get tons of eyeballs and they're all going to be, you're all you're always going to be trying to push them into this funnel. You're going to collect your opt-ins. You're going to um, send them to this offer over here, make like 33 bucks or whatever you're promoting here. I suggest higher, higher the ticket, the better, but mid tickets best. Higher ticket just means you're gonna make more money. If you have a value ladder to your business, and I might go, I'll talk about that for one second. So you got free right here, and then what if you had a lot of low ticket stuff, mid ticket stuff, and high ticket stuff in the back end? Okay, but your main offer was like a mid ticket offer that, that brought a lot of value to people. And then in your front end, you're bringing people in as a hook that's something for free just for their email. And you really wanna optimize this a lot because guess what? 
This is where people enter your funnel and this is where you make money. So you better optimize as well. I'm talking video sales letter, I'm talking story selling, I'm talking value stacks, I'm talking tons of free stuff, not just one thing, okay? I'm talking value, all right? But anyways, guys, that's the strategy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video gets a couple views, hopefully five views, um, because that's five people, okay? And people are way more important than just numbers on a screen. And a lot of people overthink that, okay? But anyways, um, check out new stuff in the description. Check out other videos. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.